in this short presentation, I'll highlight two main categories of pitfalls that most candidates may do. Moreover, I'll mention uh, some pearls to avoid these mistakes. First category is pitfalls in description. When I ask the candidate, describe this photo, or if it is a case in anterior segmentation, majority of candidates start by saying white opacities in the cornea, most probably macular corneal uh, dystrophy. Uh, this description uh, shows two pitfalls, although it may sound good. However, the first pitfall, what I tend to call attraction effect, that you start by commenting on the most obvious pathology in non-organized manner. So you missed other uh, anterior segment structures, which may show other important signs in other cases. So you need to follow uh, anatomic description start by lid conjunctiva cornea anterior chamber iris lens one candidate can say is it essential to examine uh, the lid in anterior segment i can tell you if you don't follow a systematic uh, descriptive approach in every case you will miss critical finding in many cases like in this photo uh, practically speaking, uh, here's a clue for diagnosis of this case is uh, blepharitis, which cause marginal keratitis. So even in everyday practice, you need it. Uh, the second pitfall is defective description of the main pathology in the case. You need to give more detailed des description. For instance, in, in the previous case, we can say grayish white dense ill-defined corneal opacities extending from limbus to limbus and the intervening space is hazy to make it easy remember you need to start you need to use diffuse illumination then cut section when you can comment on anterior and posterior corneal surface and then optical section okay or, in another word, when you comment in the cornea, remember uh, the four maps in Pentacam. So, in four maps, it's, it shows curvature map, which gives us an overview, uh, like a diffuse illumination, uh, anterior and posterior elevation map, which likes uh, parallel uh, illumination, and finally, a pachymetry map, which is maybe more or less like optical section so uh, for instance in this case here is how the habit of a good description can help uh, any candidate in an exam because there is no uh, specific pattern and it's a typical case uh, another uh, pitfall can result from uh, forgetting doing full assessment like in this case Easily, if you don't do um, trans illumination of the iris, you can miss critical finding uh, suggestive of uh, herpetic cuviitis. And here you can see the difference. So, miss technique also is important. So, you see only what you look for and you recognize only what you know. Second uh, category of uh, pitfalls is pitfalls in management. So we can divide this pitfalls into uh, four uh, main points. The first is missing an exclusion of life threatening condition, like neuroimaging in intermediate uveitis was suspected intraocular lymphoma for exclusion of CNS lymphoma or in other cases like uh, neuroimaging of other neurological uh, 
condition in neuroophthalmology like case of papilledema. The second is a missing exclusion of vision threatening condition uh, in differential diagnosis like severe keratitis is one of the vision threatening condition but here is endophthalmitis showing your differential diagnosis because it's more aggressive and more uh, serious uh, than uh, keratitis. So in this case, you should consider uh, endophthalmitis. The third category is rush. For example, when I ask how would you treat this case, many candidates rush to surgical intervention without knowing the post corrected visual acuity, visual needs, and visual potential of the patient. So you can uh, neglect uh, these aspects which is uh, very uh, essential in management of uh, the patient. Last category is missing patient counseling. And in missing patient counseling, you should uh, 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 start answering uh, treatment of any patient by I'll counsel the patient and you need to counsel the patient about the disease, about the prognosis, about the uh, pros and cons of different treatment after mentioning the treatment options um, and all these points and you should highlight if it is an emergency condition, if it is vision threatening condition, if it is life threatening condition, all these points you should cover. So uh, it should be very uh, good point when you start treatment by I'll counsel the patient about uh, so and so and so and so and so. And remember, knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice. So take home message, follow an anatomical uh, order in description, uh, follow a systematic examination methods, remember in management exclusion of vision threatening condition, exclusion of life threatening condition, counseling uh, the patient,